Hey guys, Harry Wilmington here. And from here on out, I am your introvert dating coach. And today I wanna to talk about this idea of going away from a woman just long enough for her to decide to choose you. Now, I wanted to do this video in particular because I saw another content creator talking about how uh, she, she was a person that gives dating advice and she was saying that she finds it manipulative if a guy, for example, has in his head that, okay, I'm gonna go out with a girl, show her a good time, and then I'm going to consciously wait four or five days before I text her or call her. And she was saying that because of how women react to that in terms of like being in a state of wonderment and wondering what's going on, does the person like or not, that that can be very manipulative, okay? And I want you to understand that as you're learning things on this channel, where I talk about things like being more patient or holding back or not trying to have a date with her every day despite how much you like her or not trying to call her text every day, that as you're hearing these things, you might think to yourself, well, I'm a person that if I get a text right away, I'm gonna wanna respond back if I'm not busy. Why would I wanna wait? That's manipulative, okay? But think about this. If you were, right now in your life, a legit busy guy, and you went on a date with a woman and had a good time, and then because of how busy your life was, you weren't able to get in contact with this woman for four or five days before asking her for another date. If she had a high interest in you, do you think that would be something that would turn her off? I know from my experience, just by accident originally, but then as I got more conscious of it, I realized it was not. What I also realized is this, is that I'm actually not doing any favors for the woman that I'm dating if I am constantly in front of her face, if I'm trying to text her all the time, if I'm trying to call her all the time, if I'm trying to now galvanize her time after one or two dates to be able to try to see her all the time. That's actually a thing that is not fair to a woman because she has a life going on outside of you way before she met you. And more importantly, most women are gonna actually be stressed out when you do this, when you're trying to contact them all the time, when you're trying to get all 10 of their social media accounts, so you can hit them up on every single one, when you're trying to like all their pictures and all stuff, like all this stuff claims too much too soon. But there's another important aspect that you're not thinking about, which is aside from you coming off as needy, as desperate, as a little too eager, as freaking her out because you've already made that decision about how much you like her, the real thing here is this, is that ultimately, despite what you may have heard in the media about how men should chase women and how women want guys that are constantly running after them, women actually need to be the ones to choose you. Now, this is not to say that you don't have a, a say in the matter because obviously if you're on dating apps or if you're out in the real world trying to talk to women, as you're walking up to them or as you're swiping on them, you are in fact choosing them. You're choosing them as if to say, hey, I found you interesting, I wanna take you out. But at the end of the day, in terms of between who's gonna be choosing whom and it's gonna be a benefit to the relationship, if you are trying to force her to make a decision about you and to choose you, that is going to not work in your favor almost every single time, all right? So when I tell you guys things like, hey, you need to wait four days, for example, to text or call the woman after that first date. Well, part of the reason I say that is because during that four day time span, this is going to give her time to make a decision. She's gonna get home from a date that you just took her on where she had a really great time, and now she's thinking to herself, I wanna hear from this guy again. I want him in my orbit. I want a second date, but maybe I'm not so sure that he wants that. Maybe I'm not so sure that he had a good time. Now, if you text her immediately after the date, then she's gonna know that you had a good time and that you really liked her. Is there anything wrong with that? Not necessarily, but the problem is, to a woman, you having that much contact with her early on can make it subconsciously feel like you're trying to force her to already make a decision about you, okay? But if you wait a few days before you try to contact her, that now gives you four days to also see where her interest is at and if she's going to contact you. And in order for that to happen, she has to choose you. She has to have had a good time on the date and be sitting there thinking about, man, this guy was so great. He's different from all the other guys that have hit me up. He's not talking all crazy. He's, he wouldn't try to ask me for sex. And he just took me out, he planned the date. He really got, kind of got into the feel of like making the energy right and the vibe right. And he touched me at the right times and I felt things and he might have even kissed me. And no other guy I know is doing this. And I'm not hearing from him. So now she, in order to hear from you, has to reach out, which means she's in effect saying, I choose this guy to be in my orbit. I choose this guy because I want him to continue to treat me the way that I got treated on that first date, all right? So, but this won't happen 
if you were constantly calling, texting, trying to ask for dates every day. And what a lot of guys do not do is they do not give a woman room to choose. Why do not, why don't they do this? Well, honestly, guy, you don't do it because you're nervous. You're scared. You're freaking out. You know that she's probably having a bunch of other guys reach out to her, whether it's online dating or whether it's in the real world. You know, on a day-to-day -day basis, when you're not in her orbit, she is probably getting hit on by guys. And that scares you. And that scares you because you're thinking, if you're not constantly putting up some kind of show in front of her, that one of those other guys are going to walk in her place and she's going to choose them over you. But let me tell you something, guy. Here's the thing that you don't get, is that women's reality of dating is dramatically different from ours. And I think a lot of times men project onto women how we would date and think that they're gonna do the same. So for us, if we had women constantly throwing themselves at us, chances are you probably knocking down every single woman that came to your door. So you're thinking a woman's gonna be the same, but women deal with relationships and attraction and who they let into their, cir their circle a lot differently because they have more safety precautions than we do and they have to really look out for are all these guys that are trying to hit on me really good guys? Are all these hundreds of guys that want me going to be guys that aren't going to beat me, abuse me, uh, sexually take advantage of me? Are they going to be ones that are going to be trying to put me in my place? Are they going to be jealous? Are they going to be you know, mean to my friends or waiters or whatever? Like there's so many other concerns. So while you would say, hey, every girl that comes this way that wants me, let's have at it. Most women are like, whoa, I have so many options coming to me. I know that it is not in my best interest to take all these options. So Let's say a woman goes out with you and nine other guys this week, all right? Well, these nine other guys are gonna mess up. They're gonna say some crazy stuff on a date that's gonna make her feel that ick factor, which means she's gonna want them to stay away. They're going to ask her to plan the date. They're gonna try to get her to split the bill. They're gonna try to touch her too soon or take, them, take her back to their place too soon. These nine guys are gonna mess up. And the only guy that she's thinking about at the end of those 10 guys that she's dated if you haven't done anything too wrong in that first date, is you. Why? Because she's now had 10 situations where she ended up with 10 different guys and only one guy made her feel like it, that you respected her and you weren't nervous and it was a pleasurable time. At that point, she's making the decision out of 10 guys to choose you, but only if you're doing those right things. And honestly, nine of those guys are going to take her on a first date, maybe show her a good time. She may have a decent time with all nine guys. Most of them are gonna probably send her the after date text. Then they're going to try to call the next day. They're gonna send her the good morning text. They're gonna send her the all day long text. They're gonna to try to get into a conversation. They're gonna to try to sit, uh, take her on another date the next day and the next night and the night after that and the night after that. And all these guys are gonna crash and burn because they weren't patient enough to let her choose them, okay? So you don't lose any points in this game if you take a girl on a great date and then wait a little bit. You don't lose any points if you only plan one or two dates a week when you're starting out and then let her say, come to you one day and say, hey, you know, I know we've been on like a date this week already, but let's have another date. Why? Because she's now choosing you. When you leave space for a woman to choose you, only good things can happen. Because as I always say to you guys, if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. Meaning if she is choosing to spend time with you, and there could be nothing in her head that is trying to push you away. But if you don't allow that room for that thing to happen, for her to make the decision to constantly say, it is now my decision to want to continue to hang out with this guy, and then she's going to reach out to you, and then she's going to start trying to give you suggestions of things to plan, that's going to be the easiest way for you to be able to get more dates and to stay multiply dating this one woman to the part where she wants to get in a relationship. And even with that, the part where she gets the, when you're taking a woman out, the worst thing you can do as a guy is try to rush it into a relationship to try to be like, hey, so we've been dating for like two weeks and we should already be boyfriend or girlfriend, what's up? That is not how this works. As I've told you guys, on average, it takes two to three months for a woman to solidify her feelings. But at the point where her feelings are solidified, this is another example of where you don't bring it up. You let her come to you and say, hey, what are we? What's going on? Are you seeing other people? I want this to be a thing. In effect, what is she doing once again? She is choosing you. So all you really gotta do, you plan some dates, you go have a good time, do some hookups. This is really just a repeat cycle until she comes to you and says, hey, I want you to be the boyfriend, what's going on, all right? All this to say that choice, 
You have a choice in this to pick her out and decide you want to date her, but you have to leave room for her to also have the choice to choose you. Because if you do not, and it feels forced, you're going to lose her. And if you've been having an issue with that, if you've been wondering, well, I just get so anxious and I'm always wondering like, what's going on? Am I doing things right or wrong? And I don't know where we're at and she's not coming to me yet. And how long do I have to wait for this to happen? Dude, I've been there. I wrote a book on it. I literally wrote a book on it called No Girls For You, The Ultimate Guide to Losing the Girl of Your Dreams, which you can get at the website, introvertdatingsuccess.com. But the point is this, if you need help with that stuff, I offer one-on-one coaching at the website. I also got a bunch of free YouTube videos and I got some programs at my website, all designed to help you get into the space to where you can be comfortable and recognize that it is perfectly fine to not be going forward so much. I think as guys, sometimes we're like, we always have to be doing in order to be effective. And really it's the opposite. It's you make the right moves at the right time. And then you go away for a little bit to be able to let her come to you and choose you as the person she wants to be with. Thank you for watching this episode of the Introvert Dating Success Show. If you found the info in this episode to be helpful, please show your support by clicking on the tip jar tab, the link of which can be found at the website and in the description below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on this episode and catch new episodes right here on YouTube or wherever podcasts can be found. In the meantime, be sure to check out these other episodes so you too can learn to date as your introverted self while still getting your precious alone time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.